All right, anything goes Friday. I love Pittsburghers that are doing cool things. I know. All right, in the studio with us, Les and Kathy. Good morning. Good morning. So you're from Frosted Envy Bakery. And you get real close to that microphone. Correct. Yeah. You feel like you're about to make out with a microphone. Okay. Okay, there you go. Here we are. <laughs> like, all right. So, okay. so you're going to be on the Food Network? We are. What? We are on Monday night, and it was a absolutely amazing experience. Yeah. With How? the Food Network, 10 o'clock, Monday 10 o'clock, night. Monday and, night. It's okay. called Winter Cake All. Correct. Mm-hmm. You probably can't say much. But I, no. I I assume it's about cake and winning. It is. Yes. They, okay, okay, we're good. The show premiered, or the C- series premiered uh, two weeks ago. Yeah. And basically, it's a timed competition. Right. There are two rounds. Right. The first round is an elimination round. Heard. And the second round is the a, winner. Um, is the winner. They select the winner. Okay, Wait, did so, you say timed? Yes. Yes, Bob. Yeah, th- th- you don't watch enough Food Network. No, Everything's I know. timed on the Food Network. I know, Network. but I'm already freaking out before we get into the show and the things you are and you're not allowed to say i want to talk about getting on the show okay so how does one (laughs) go from owning a bakery (laughs) we're at um in sarver we're in sarver now we were in pittsburgh for the last 10 years and we just moved to sarver perfect so how does one become a bakery in sarver and end up on the food network like what is that process um i'll be honest with you they have for i would say four or five times they've called me to but how do they know? How do they know you exist? For example, I think it's social media. Like the other bakers that we had met, all of them had people, you know, contact them through social media. A lot of bakeries post their cakes or their work. Really? Instagram hashtags are Kathy are makes amazing. wonderful things. Right. So they saw her work and thought, "Hey, this is pretty good. We need to call this lady." And I literally just tweeted it out. What? A minute ago, and Artie Medina tweeted us back, oh my goodness, they did my wedding cupcakes in November. Aww. Oh my gosh, she's awesome. Love her. Yes, so she's listening right now. So That's there you awesome. go. And, and so, so, so who calls you? A producer calls you? Who calls you? Yes, a producer calls and they present an, an idea or what the, the premise of the show. Here's what and, we're doing. And I can choose to accept or decline. And the last four times prior, I declined because... Why would you decline an opportunity to be on television? <laughs> because right? I don't want to look like a fool on TV because I am not a baker. I do not have a background in culinary. I okay. actually have a degree in communication okay. from Slippery Rock. Okay. And I have... I am completely self-taught. So I am... Ba- I, I like... To, I'm pretty good at what I do, which is working with fondant. I am not a culinary... With, with what? You're working fondant. with what? Fondant. I will, what I will eat fondant, fondant, fondant <laughs> right now. <laughs> what is it? all in my mouth. I'm eating it. It's what like, is it? It's, uh, it's like Play-Doh. Or oh a pie yeah, crust. You roll it out, okay, and then you lay it on the cake, but and it's it edible. sweet, and, and it's edible. edible, and you can shape it in the thing. Yes, yes. and it's called what? Fondant. 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 F O N D A N T. Fondant. I learned something new today. Yeah, you knew what fondant was. Why would I say I don't know what it was if I didn't <laughs> I knew what it was? He knows a lot about everything, <laughs> and I, I would know, assume I you would know. know. I don't, how oh. would I know about fondant? Just because I'm in the restaurant business doesn't know I'm in how to bake a cake. I love fondant. Well, don't let Kathy fool you because she just said she's not a baker. She makes delicious. Yeah, but I don't make like souffles. A few few months before this producer called me, another producer called me and it was for a show where they did eliminations and every week you're making a souffle or a bread or this or that. And that's just not what I do. And I knew if I went on that show, you'd right. fail. I'd fail. I'd be eliminated yeah. and I'd go home and it would be. So you said no. So I said no. And then they called me this time with two opportunities. <laughs> One was a two week opportunity, which is tasty as that sounded the as wedding a mo- as two yeah. mothers and wives do go to LA yes. for two weeks. That would sound like a heaven. <laughs> it sounds, send, we send just me, can't. Send yeah. me for two weeks to LA. I'm in. You guys can fend for yourselves. <laughs> Especially with a per diem. They feed you breakfast and lunch and oh, then they yeah. give you a per diem for okay, dinner. You need to stop. Stop right now. Right, hang on a second. When we come back, I need to hear more about this. I'm, I'm, I'm all into how you get on the show. <laughs> right. Like th- I, I think that's, in- that's interesting. And then we will talk about the show. Play quarter after cash on 100.7 star. All right. Anything goes Friday. I love this. Lesson Kathy, Frosted Envy Bakery, Food Network, Monday, 10 p.m. Winter Cake All. Okay. Winter so, Cake so, All. I like, so the, I like the name. For, for anything uh, goes Friday. I'm good. So we, we, when we left, we were talking about how you got on the show and how they reached out to you. And you think it was because of Instagram and how you said that you aren't necessarily a baker. And uh, Lesson, that's not true. I right. bake cakes. They're so good. I can bake cakes. But like I said, so souffles, cookies. Just How? not like the but, high but, fancy culinary stuff she doesn't do. But, but you're not, a baker, good stuff. You're not a baker at all. I'm not a baker at all. She makes I, you. I eat what she Kathy makes coffee. Makes. She makes coffee. I make coffee. So wait a second, Les. <laughs> so how are you a part of this if you're not a baker? Explain. Right. I'm Kathy's ringer. 
She's we're, <laughs> she's she's one of my best friends. Actually, okay. it was a terrifying experience and exhilarating at the same time. Yes. Um, I know nothing about fondant and modeling chocolate. Thank you. And they became a medium that I had to learn like in four days. Why? What do you do? Uh, I'm a sculptor. I'm a fantasy sculptor. A fantasy sculptor? What the hell's happening? Could, could you sculpt my fantasy? What it does involves that mean? Melanie. Is that okay? <laughs> okay. Sure. What? what is happening? <laughs> Melanie and centaurs, right? I, I okay. have to tell you, she's not just a fantasy sculptor, she's an internationally awarded fantasy sculptor. Okay, now I got a Google search. What here. the hell is a fantasy? Fantasy. Like, spe- less. Dragons spend and spend your last name. Uh, Les Polinko, P O L I N K O. Okay, this is live rated. This is anything goes Friday because so I'm literally googling you right now. Cool. Just so so you know. (sighs) What is happening? What is happening? No, no. Maybe you should instead of asking what's happening, tell our Bubba Show family might be listening. What's happening? I just googled. First of all, you're gorgeous, by the way. Aww. I just Googled and went to images, and I'm not even sure what I'm looking at that you've sculpted. I don't either. I don't What Google are myself. these? Um, I like to make dragons and trolls and fairies and They're creatures. fairies and trolls, <laughs> Bubba! <laughs> well, I'm looking at a photograph of a mermaid riding a sea turtle. Yeah. Okay, and I'm looking at a original sculpture of a... I don't know what this is. It looks so, like a carrot. So I, I, as a I, sculptor... Coming, I don't even know. As a fantasy, as a fantasy sculptor... Oh my what, gosh! What is because you're? I'm looking at some photographs and, and unbelievable stuff. Oh, uh, holy! How hell. does your uh, ability help Kathy? Yes. In the, in in the cake game. Yes, Kathy um, was introduced to me by a mutual friend of ours, okay. and okay. Kathy needed um, some help with one of her clients, and they wanted likenesses. Okay. Um, custom topper. Yeah, custom a topper. custom topper, bub. And a Something lot on the, top of the okay. cake, am I right? Mm-hmm. And okay. it's a you got you to speak in layman terms for people. Oh, it's a cake item because Les works no, in polymer clay. I work in polymer clay. And so clay. when she bakes it, it bakes almost like a, it's a solid, por- like almost like porcelain, like a solid surface. Yep. So if she, if I commissioned her to make a topper for one of my client's cakes, it was something they'd be able to have forever. Yeah. And it wouldn't like. Bubba, what are we doing wrong with our lives? You and I. No, no, <laughs> Once this, again. no, no. This I don't feel bad about this. Sometimes people come in and they're doing amazing things. They and are I feel doing ba- amazing and I, well, things. No, hold on. Let me finish. And I feel bad because I'm like, we could have done that. No. You two have a gift. You two have a talent. You two have a skill. I don't feel bad about that because I don't. I don't have a talent or a skill or a gift, so I could never do what either one of you do. Now, if, if I gave you clay and said, make a mermaid riding a turtle, you know you're still going to suck. I'd make a little wiener hot dog. Here it is. There's my hot dog. Uh, this is Anything Goes Friday. This is fun. Les even... and Kathy from Fries and Envy Bakery are in the studio. They're going to be on the Food Network Monday night. Winner cake all. I in the studio with live anything goes Friday. By the way, seven forty five, uh, your chance. Not, never mind. At seven forty five, TJ the DJ's Friday morning oh, yeah. dance party. I forgot about that. Yes, did you? I keep forgetting it's Friday. Every what, once in a while, I, I remind you. Is this Green Tree? L- Les and Kathy <laughs> are in the studio. Our Frost and Envy Bakery Food Network Monday winner cake all. So uh, we're discussing quickly about how you got on the show. How long were you there? Four days. Four days. We flew out. Sunday morning, at like 7 a.m. We're shoved on a red eye back at 12.15, Wednesday, Wednesday night, <laughs> Wednesday night Thursday, Thursday morning. morning. <laughs> and, and, and Kathy, you were like, okay, less sculpts. She could do cake toppings or cake tops. Toppers. Toppers. Yep. You're coming with me. We got this, yeah. girl. Right? Well, we'd never made, and this is for, the, the competition is for decorated cakes. Winner cake all. Winner cake all. Okay. So, um, so it's not about how it tastes. It's about how it looks. It's, it's both. both. It's both. Just ask. Yeah. Oh, yes, both. Can you, um, and just say yes or no. Can you say the time limit? How much time you had? The first, there were two rounds. The first mm. round, but they, the show's aired. Not our show, but right, the, right, right. the show's, yeah. so Tapes. people see it. Yeah. Um, the first two episodes have already aired and it's the first is a one hour topper where you have to make um, some type of topper for a cake and they give you a theme. Um, and then if you, there's one team eliminated and then if you make it through to the second round, so that's an hour they give you to do the top. They do. Okay. And then the second round is five hours. Five and, hours. And you have to make a cake a, that needs 150 time. people. For people. Wow. Yeah. I don't even think I, you can make a top in an hour. I don't even. Okay. Mel, my Mel, head's Mel, exploded. Melanie, they could give us five months and we couldn't do any of this. <laughs> exactly. Like I said, a wiener out of Play-Doh. It's about all I can make. I think the hardest part, really. I, you made a visual. I'm I got sorry. a visual. I was, I was <laughs> rolling it. I'm, I'm, in I'm my a, hand. Make sure a, a hot dog, not a wiener. I'm I sorry. feel a cake topper coming on here. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so, right, when we come back, uh, this is anything goes Friday. Uh, I love uh, amazing people in Pittsburgh doing cool stuff. 
Watch the Food Network Monday night. Uh, winner, cake all at 10 o'clock. We'll be back with uh, Frosted Envy Bakery. Uh-huh. On 100.7 Star, powered by Bowser Chevrolet, celebrating the grand opening in Beaver Falls. All right. Uh, we're going to come back with Les and Kathy. They're going to be on the Food Network Monday night. Okay. I, Mel, listen. Yes, I'm listening. Did I'm you, so, I, sort of. By the way, coming up next, TJ, the DJs, Friday morning dance party. So, uh... Les and Kathy are here, Frosted Envy Bakery. They're going to be in the Food Network Monday night, winner take all, a cake all. Uh, we can't ask the o'clock. outcome. I want to ask I the do, outcome. I, I, I don't want to get them in trouble. I just have to tell you, I ate one of the uh, cupcakes and I wouldn't have one. I just would. I they would bad. Stay away. Well, they're so, <laughs> <laughs> they're so bad, huh? They're fantastic. Yeah, I walked over just to just look stupid. right now, ladies. And I said, you know what I said to you? I said, if you take a bite of one, and not eat the whole thing. I'm disowning you, right? Is that not what you I said? You did say that. Seriously, you did. Because like, Melanie's the one who's like, I, she'll like break it in half, or she'll just take a bite. So, ready, Mel? You need to gain weight. Eat a whole cupcake. Take an entire cupcake to the face. Come to the dark <laughs> side, Mel. Come to the. Dark I feel side. pressured. He's like yelling. Yes. I'll do what I want. I'll eat how I no, want. No, you won't. Eat. You're gonna eat a whole. <laughs> By cupcake. the way, lower left lip. You got icing all the Dude, way down I don't your. Care. I'm saving it for later. <laughs> okay, so we discussed how you got on the show. Yes. Mm-hmm. So, uh, had you ever done anything like this in your lives before? No. 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 So, was it, so what about the, the like, what, I'm not trying to ask questions that won't get you in trouble since it hasn't aired yet. So, what about, like, the, 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 the whole production of it? Bigger than you thought, like, with the cameras in your face, lights oh, everywhere, yeah. producers screaming yeah. in your ears. I think one of the biggest things was, and since the show has, previous episodes have already aired, um, it's common knowledge that this is actually filmed outside. outside. I thought we would be in a a production facility, like a studio, right. yeah. a building with air conditioning. We were actually, I always joke, we were literally making cake by the ocean. We were on, what? we were in a tent. Not in the sand. It no. was up in a winery up the hills. We were near the Catalina Island. We were I very, think. very close to the ocean. <laughs> yeah, it was very, it was beautiful. It was very beautiful. And it was. Because they wanted to distract you. Yeah, they wanted to add extra issue like well, because heat and humidity are right. are the yes like it's horrible with fondant you need air why would they do control. that because it makes for good tv oh sure it does. does that's not right <laughs> i mean seriously that's not right why 10 o'clock monday night i can't I, i'm gonna have to dvr it because we go to bed early well or maybe i'll stay up i don't know uh, yeah you yeah. guys get in here early it was hard i had to get up at 4 30 to be in here and it was um it was not tough. nice it was tough I feel bad for my husband. He gets up at 2.45 to go to work every day. What does he do? He's a UPS driver, and he okay. works down in Beaver Avenue. And he, I joke, he's been there 20 years. So he has, I call it the old man shift, where he can go. He was able to bid a better shift. So yeah. he goes in earlier, and he comes home earlier. So he's done at like 11, 12? Oh, God, no. He doesn't get home till usually 6 or 7. At yeah. night? Mm-hmm. He works from 3 in the morning till 7 at night? He get, he leaves the house at 3. He starts at 4, and then... um. He's usually home between six and seven. Wow. He's got to keep Kathy in the vanilla. Yeah. My husband's a um, city of Pittsburgh paramedic. And they work it. They really do. Yeah, absolutely. So so outside of the television show, since we found out that, Kathy, you're the, the baker, not mm-hmm. professional, but really good. Is that what you She's said? She's professional. Well, I She's guess I'm a, a, I'm well, a professional would... cake decorator. I'm not a professional baker. That's what I said. Yeah. Not a professional baker. Yeah. Yeah. Right now, I said, no, I don't know what I, I said. I don't know. I'm not very good at this it's job. It's early. <laughs> and, 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 obvi- and obviously, Les, you are a sculptor, which, which, by the way, your stuff is. Can people buy your stuff? Yeah. How would one buy your stuff, by the way? I do Pittsburgh Renaissance Festival, okay. um, Comic Con, the uh, Steel City Comic Con. Those and- are local ones I made at markets. I'll be there soon in February. And. I do arts festivals um, and just tell on my website what you specialize, what you, what's your biggest sculpting, what you sculpt a lot of. Oh, I sculpt a lot of, I make thousands of things a year. Fantasy. Yes. I love that word. <laughs> fantasy. <laughs> Could you sculpt my fantasy? No, don't. And be very, very disturbing. So now that you guys did this, so you guys came together for the TV show. Yes. Yes. And you used, used your sculpting ability to help with your baking ability and your yeah. fondant ability. Mm-hmm. And now, do you see yourselves, did you guys just get together for this show where you're going to use your your combined skills, like super wonder twin powers, activate form of a cheetah, or are you going (laughs) to, or are you going to continue to work together from this point forward? Or are you just besties that had a a blast in California? Yeah. Well, we've worked together on and off for specific things that, you know, clients for Kathy coming in, but, you know, she just subcontracts me for the things that she can't, you know, she's, she's got a pretty good handle on it, but because I know sculpture, even, um, 
in the cake world, we'd never made a sculpted cake together before really? this. Before yeah, this? It was terrifying. You yeah. have to make, part of the interview process is we had to make a sculpted three-dimensional cake. I'm mm-hmm. not sure if we're allowed to say, are we allowed to say? I'm, it yeah. was a superhero cake yeah. with a cape. Ooh, and we had six hours. I'm and it was literally the first fan. time that she had touched all of this product. I'd never really, because I again, she would hire me to make toppers in polymer clay. So this is the first time I'm trying to do fondant and modeling chocolate, and they are not like polymer clay at all. And there were issues, and we had six hours, and then they Skyped with us. Yeah. The, the production company Skyped with us, and we had to cut into the cake to show that it was real cake. We, I always And joke, this was the audition or when you were out this there? This is part audition, of the audition part beforehand. Oh, oh, before they even gosh. let you know, but this is part of them choosing been, you or not. I got to tell you, I, so I, I have been trying to get on the Food Network for my burger place mm-hmm. for years, and I can't even get a sniff. And then, I'll, then I'll, I'll get all mad because I'll find out, oh, Guy Fieri was in town, or oh, blah, 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 blah's yeah. in town. I'm like, how do I, I'm like text messaging and emailing and do you, doing I'm Twitter tell campaigns you what you need and to do. Instagram campaigns, and I can't even get to the... Nope, not even a snip. I'll tell you what you have to do. And this is an honest to God, true story. Three years ago, I, I assessed my life and I chose Listen, to- Listen, if I assess my life- No, no, I'm no, no hold on. <laughs> I, I made some major decisions and major changes in my life and shifted everything into the positive. And one of the things I did is I put a vision board in my bathroom. This is a true honest to God story. I put a vision board in my bathroom. I wanted a different house. I wanted to move. I wanted more time with my husband and my kids. And one of the things I've always wanted to do was go on one of these cake shows. So on my vision board, I put a little certificate it's that like I made secret. myself. It's like the book, The Secret. Yes. yes. It said Kathy Bernheimer. Why don't I do that? Cake anymore? competition winner, prize $10,000. Now, I will not say if we won or not, but I can tell you that the prize from the show that we went on was $10,000. And you had no idea when you built that all that time ago. Nope. And how, you know, my wife's trying to do something with numerology and visions and stuff like that. I looked at that every day. I looked at the picture of the new house. I looked at the picture of my husband and my kids and I, and I looked at the picture of the, the, the K competition and a few other things that I had. I last year we decided to move. We are now building a new house. I went on the Food Network show, which we'll see what the outcome is on Monday. And um, I now have been spending because I'm transitioning. I'm slowing down in the bakery and I opened up the popcorn facility, Pop en- Popped Envy. It's really taking off. It's more Monday through Friday. And I've had a lot more time with my kids and it has been absolutely glorious. And because I drink a lot of coffee, I would have to use Kathy's bathroom a lot, <laughs> where the vision board is. So you is. looked at her vision board a lot. <laughs> so here we right? go. Right? Full wow. circle. Close the circuit. Well, Les and Kathy, Food Network, Winner Cake All, Frosted Envy Yay. Bakery. Uh, uh, what, what is your website, Facebook, Instagram, in case people um, want to check you out? FrostedEnvy.com. Uh, Frosted Envy Bakery is Facebook. And um, Popped Envy Gourmet Popcorn Company is Facebook. And Popped Envy is Instagram. And, and if everybody wants to get in touch with you for sculpting. Just Les Polinko. It's Spell your last com. name. Uh, P-O-L-I-N-K-O. Well, or we'll just, be watching. We're going to have to check in with you guys next yeah. week. I mean, we, you don't have to come back in, but we can Can we call you guys and just see? Like, Absolutely. Yeah. The, after Monday. Don't you want to hey, say what's happened? In? No, just I want to come in on it. Tuesday and meet Richard and bring more, more goodies. <laughs> okay. All right, Richard Bassey. Okay, he gets here usually around 8, Tuesday. Bubba, maybe we can come to your restaurant and make a big hamburger sculpted <gasps> guy fear for you. So maybe they'll call you back. I, I saw a picture. Call you back. <laughs> maybe they'll call you back. No, I, see, I don't have that positive vision that you ladies have. Well, awesome. It's called the law of attraction. It's the book, it The is. Secret. I swear. Is that what you based it, it, it off it, it of? It truly is. I read it years ago. I had the sign in my little room. I'm going to, I'm going to do every, it you know what? I, and every, it worked. It worked for me. It was, it, it truly does. It worked. Every night I would journal things that I was grateful for. Cause I had to get myself out of that me- negative mindset. I, so I, true. I, I let people leave my table who were no longer sitting there and serving respect. I think you need to come and give us some motivational cupcakes speech. and <laughs> popcorn and laws of attraction <laughs> on Bubba. Ross and Envy Bakery is going to be on the Food Network Monday on the TV show. <laughs> Winner cake all less and Kathy. Thank you so much. We're going to talk to you on Tuesday. You're going to stop by. Okay. Yeah. Right? Sure. All right. It's now time for our Bubba Show Friday morning dance party.